In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to this Lovina devotion, our opening hymn on page 19, Sing to the Mountains. We shall sing the refrain and verse 1, please. 19, page 19. All together, sing to the mountain, sing to the sea, raise your voices, leave your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. Verse 1. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. Page 20. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from Him through the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. Petition set five on page 29, page 29. That we may be true witnesses of our Christian faith. That we may experience true conversion in our lives that I may see Christ in the people I meet every day, that I may discern and do God's will in all things, for peace and reconciliation in our families, for the return of our family members to God and to the church, that all parents will, by example, live good Christian lives. That parents help their children to realize the potential that God has given to each of them. That young people be more open to the prompting of God's Spirit in their lives. That missionaries will remain zealous in their mission and continue to bring Christ to all who do not know or accept Him. That we may defend the voiceless and the marginalized in our society. That we may respect and accept people of other faiths and religious beliefs that we may respect and care for all God's creation. That we do our part in protecting and preserving our environment for our future generations. That more people be open to God's call to the priestly and religious vocations. Let us now pray for our own intentions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and grant them through the prayers of Mary, our mother. Please be seated. This week, we have received a total of 789 letters. 
As usual, say here are some of the petitions. I pray for the cure of my five-month-old son from illness. My colleague has suffered two miscarriages. Please comfort her and nurse her back to health. I will be going for a pilgrimage this October with my parents. Grant us good health to enjoy the trip and a safe return. Please help my sister and brother-in-law to find the love they had for the last 25 years. Help them to resolve their differences amicably. My daughter is having a relationship with a divorcee who is much older than her. Please guide her as she is very naive and playful. Here are the Thanksgiving letters. The first one a little bit long, but a very beautiful one. Dearless Mother Mary, I am writing to thank you for your prayers during my recent illness while I was on a business trip in the United States. Despite going to the local clinic and being prescribed with medication, I did not get better. Three days into the medication, my condition had continued to deteriorate. It was then that I had to fly back to Singapore for treatment. My wife was informed and she came to your shrine at Novena and pray for my safe trip home. The journey back was fraught with difficulties and the flight was delayed for three hours due to bad weather. And I almost missed the connecting flight. Somehow, miraculously, though through your help and intercession, I managed to board the connecting flight to Singapore with just 40 minutes before the flight took off. I was extremely sick, running a fever, break out with a rash, pain throughout my body with swollen joints and feet. Through the long and arduous flight home, and despite the suffering, I somehow was able to cope with all the pain and suffering. I was treated by my doctor here and have seen be on the road to recovery. Thank you so much, Mother, for your help and intercession, for answering my wife's prayer to bring me home safely and for my recovery. You are indeed a mother of mercy. Your Catholic son. What a wonderful letter. Terrible to get sick overseas and fly all the way back. Dear Mother Mary, thank you so much for keeping us safe on our travel and for bringing us home safely from Hong Kong. We were uncertain about whether our flight home would be cancer because of the typhoon Makut. Remember the terrible typhoon just recently? Through your intercession, our flight went through and was one of the last few flights out of Hong Kong shortly before the typhoon. We flew safely home despite the strong winds and turbulence. Your loving daughter. Time for just one last Thanksgiving. Dearest mother, I write to thank you on behalf of my non-Catholic friend 
She is now recovering well from her heart and thyroid problems. And all is now under control with medication and with no surgery required. Thank you once again for your love, care, and intercession. Your grateful child. Wonderful letters. So when you come next round, bring your own wonderful letters, especially Thanksgiving, to share with us. Let us now once again renew our confidence and our trust in our mother of perpetual health. On page 34, Mother of perpetual health, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are the mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past we have so often sinned, but with your help we can conquer. And you will help us if we come to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me, let me never lose my God. Amen. Please stand. Let us share with Mary our, her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Handful of all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scattered the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things but sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart, giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding, and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Please turn to page 56, hymn to our Blessed Mother. Mother dear, oh pray for me. We shall sing verse 1 and the refrain, 56. All together. Mother dear, oh pray for me. While far from heaven and thee, I want Be seated for some announcements. The 8 a.m. choir on Sunday, the John Loyman Choir, is requiring projectionists to help them uh, during the Mass. So for those who are interested or to have need more in, uh, information, please contact Susan. I think the number is given. 
The 10 a.m. choir, the St. Alphonsus Choir on Sunday, is recruiting the following singers in the choir, the projectionists, and all these mentioned, the, those can play the instruments. Those of you who are interested, please approach the church reception to get the recruitment leaflet. The Church of St. Michael parishioners are here this morning to do some evangelization. If you want to know more about Jesus and our faith, do spend some time to talk to them. They also have an RCIA program that will start on the 25th of this month. Please drop in uh, in their booths outside the church. Catholic News is on sale this morning. Last but not least, there will be prayer since this month is the month of October, the month of the Rosary. The prayer of Rosary immediately after the 6.30 evening Mass every day from Monday to Friday in the church, in the Lovina Church here. After the 6.30 evening Mass, Monday to Friday, Rosary. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Exams time is worrying time. Many students, even parents, I'm sure many of you here, are very anxious. Sometimes the parents are more anxious than their children sitting for the exam. Worrying can leave us with physical repercussions like panic attacks, heart palpitations, sleepless nights, and more. For many of us, in times of turmoil, we would ask God to help us. But when things got better, we would forget about God again. I think if we are honest with ourselves, sometimes we very much do that. In desperation, a corner here will be full of people. In good time, it could very well be empty here. In learning to deal with anxiety, maybe we need to turn to the Bible to find inspiration. One person stands out among others is Abraham. Abraham was asked to do something pretty frightening. God just said to him, I need you to follow me and to leave your homeland. And Abraham did just that. Without any concrete proof or any plan. The Lord just said, follow me. And I will tell you where we are going when we get there. Well, there is not much of direction, isn't it? And Abraham took the word seriously. Oftentimes in life, we are called to trust. We have the guarantee 
that Jesus is going to promise us eternal life if we follow him. But we do not have every step of the way planned out for us. The Lord expects us to take one day at a time. So when we look at Abraham, we come to realize that if we really want to trust God, we have got to trust him each day. That he is good to his word and promise. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, have this very good advice for us. Trust the Lord with all your heart. He will make straight your paths. So in this Lovina devotion, we turn to our Mother Mary and ask her to intercede for us as we pray to the Lord. I like to con in control of all things. Help me to trust you, Lord. And at the same time, to move me beyond worry. And rather, move me towards your peace. Let this be our prayer as we celebrate this devotion today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 36, the memorare. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that ever was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, Mother of the world incarnate, despite not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Prayer of the sick, let us remember those in hospitals, those who are housebound, those who are in nursing homes, especially those who are dear and close to us. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carry our sorrows. Hear our prayer for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Let us now pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please stand. The hymn to our Blessed Mother on page 38. Mary from thy sacred image, verses 3 and 4, please. And for him thy eyes are pleading. While to us they look and cry, Sinner, see my child, your Savior, Who for love of you will die. Yes, we hear thy words, sweet mother, 
You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Be our children, enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever.
I will find a hymn on page 61, O Peerless of Creature. We shall sing one verse, please. 61. O Peerless of Creature, sweet mother, sweet maid, the one spot Mother and we look out for thy shining sweet star of the sea. Louder, please. Away, 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 Maria. wish you to have a pleasant weekend and God bless you. Thank you for your participation. See you next Saturday.